সুপ্রিয় দর্শক আপনারা দেখছেন এই জনপদে আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠানে আপনাদের সাদর আমন্ত্রণ জানাচ্ছি আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠান অন্যান্য দিনের চেয়ে আঙ্গিকের দিক থেকে একটু ভিন্ন আর আমার ধারণা আপনাদের এই ভিন্নতা ভালো লাগবে আগামী সাতাশ জুলাই শুক্রবার অলিম্পিকের ওপেনিং সেরেমনি অনুষ্ঠিত হচ্ছে যেদিন আমরা প্রথম শুনতে পেলাম যে লন্ডন হোস্ট করছে অলিম্পিক সেদিনের কথা কিন্তু আমার মনে পড়ে উত্তেজনা ভালো লাগা এটা একটা বিশাল সম্মানের ব্যাপার যে কোনো দেশের জন্য সে কারণে আমরা যখন দেখি যে এই যে সমস্ত দেশ অলিম্পিক হোস্ট করছে সে শুরুর দিনটি কিন্তু একেবারে উত্তেজনায় ভরপুর থাকে ওপেনিং সেরেমনি বর্ণাঢ্য হয় মানে জাঁকজমকপূর্ণ সেখানে আমরা যেমন গত টু থাউজেন্ড এইটের অলিম্পিক ওপেনিং সেরেমনির কথা যদি আমি চিন্তা করি সে বেইজিংয়ের তো চোখ ধাঁধানো ছিল তো এই যে সমস্ত দেশে এই অলিম্পিক হয় তাদের মধ্যে কিন্তু একটা সূক্ষ্ম প্রতিযোগিতা থাকে ওপেনিং সেরেমনি নিয়ে অনেক সময় সেই সূক্ষ্ম তো অবশ্য ছাড়িয়ে যায় তো এই এই সে কারণে সম যে দেশগুলো চায় ওপেনিং সেরেমনিতে তারাই পারফর্ম করবেন যারা দেশের সবচেয়ে গুণী সবচেয়ে সম্মানিত সবচেয়ে বরণ্য শিল্পী এবং সবচেয়ে নিপুণ শিল্পী তেমনি একজন শিল্পী যিনি আমাদের এই টু থাউজেন্ড টুয়েলভ অলিম্পিকের ওপেনিং সেরেমনিতে পারফর্ম করছেন আমাদের মাঝে আছেন তার সাথে আমরা কথা বলবো এবং তার উপস্থিতির আরেকটি কারণ আছে সেটি আমি পরে বলছি কিন্তু তার আগে বল তার সাথে পরিচিত হয়ে তিনি ডান্সার কোরিওগ্রাফার আকরাম খান আকরাম আপনাকে অসংখ্য ধন্যবাদ আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠানে আসবার জন্য থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ থ্যাংক ইউ অ্যান্ড অ্যান্ড সুপ্রিয় দর্শকদেরকে বলছি আই উড লাইক টু আই উড লাইক টু অ্যাড্রেস দ্য অডিয়েন্স দ্যাট ইটস নট গোয়িং টু বি অনলি অলিম্পিক উই আর নট টকিং টকিং টু হিম অ্যাবাউট অনলি অলিম্পিক্স উই আর গোয়িং টু টক অ্যাবাউট হিজ এন্টায়ার ওয়ার্ক কেরিয়ার অ্যান্ড হোয়াট হি ওয়ান্স টু ডু নেক্সট সো অনেক আই নো আই 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 রিয়েলি কোয়াইট এক্সাইটেড আমি আমার মানে কথা হলো পারট হয়ে যাচ্ছে আই আই এম নট গোয়িং টু ইভেন ট্রাই টু হাইড ইট সো আপনারা প্লিজ ফোন ইন করেন আপনাদের যদি কোনো জিজ্ঞাসা থাকে মন্তব্য থাকে আক্রমের সাথে যদি স্টুডিওতে কথা বলতে চান প্লিজ কল ইন আমাদের এই প্রথম পর্বে দ্বিতীয় পর্ব থেকে সো থ্যাংক ইউ সো মাচ আক্রম থ্যাংক ইউ So tell me, tell me what's happening uh, in the Olympic uh, opening ceremony. It's a difficult one because <coughs> I can't really say too much. <laughs> I've signed this contract um, that's, that t- explains what I can say and what I cannot say. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I can say is after signing the contract little, is, is very little. <laughs> um, is that I'm doing it mm-hmm. um, in, some form or, in some form or another. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, I have a great trust in Danny Boyle, the director. Wow. Um, I respect him highly. I think he's an incredible collaborator. He's really a team player and he's a visionary. He has his own vision and it's very clear. And I just feel honored and privileged to so work on whole, this scale. So the whole opening ceremony, the whole program is going to be directed by Danny Boyle? By Bob. him, yes. Oh, it's okay. his vision. What he's done is he came and saw Vertical Road, a piece that I did a few years ago. And he came and saw Desh, a recent piece that mm-hmm. I did. Mm-hmm. And um, he, he asked me to come on board um, to to be part of it in some creative form and so um, there was a choice of if I would be involved in many different little parts or mm. one uh, one small part and I said okay I'll do the one small part <laughs> um, and and yeah it's quite nerve-wracking because I'm it's a sure scale it that it's a scale it's interesting it's all How about scale. How many people would, be, would it be in the, in the stadium? You th- Oh, well, there's 80,000 audience oh, members. Yes, but and, and it's like beyond, Performers, yeah. 10,000, I think, 10, or maybe more, I don't know. Um, uh, I think we stopped counting. <laughs> 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 it's just so big. But uh, I, I, f- I feel very, I, I feel a bit nervous about it, partly because of my injury that I had in January. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, rock And I believe you, like, 50 to 60 shows been canceled for yeah, that. Yeah, we had to cancel six months wow. of touring. Yeah. Yeah, it was very, it was very intense, hmm. because suddenly, you know, something that I'm used you know y- y- you d- you do what you do all your life and, you and take then it for granted. you take it for granted but also yeah you take it for granted and and the fact that that uh, voice which is my body for a, for a dancer their way of speaking their way of communicating is through their body and the fact that's taken away from you is an interesting challenge because and body wants to say you something <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think yeah i mean slow down is it no no i don't think so i think um just uh, uh, prepare better <laughs> Because I think with age comes wisdom, but also hopefully comes wisdom. <laughs> but uh, what it also says is you cannot take things for granted. You have to mm. um, train properly uh, uh, to prevent injury. 
and mm. uh, that's something I'm you know when you're 20 you don't really think about it no you, no, you, you even don't. if you get injured you get back quickly on your feet but this is quite a serious but it injury. was an accident accident can happen, happen. any time yes yeah, yeah. I, I, I refuse to believe it has anything to do with age I hope <laughs> that's a form of denial. <laughs> I think I'm in denial. Um, but you know, I was in denial because when it happened, I was still standing. Mm. And usually you fall over. It, 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 did it happen during your performance? Rehearsal. Oh, Thank okay. God it was rehearsal. Uh, but I was standing and, uh, and people were saying, oh, no, you're okay. And I was like, I feel something, yeah. but maybe nothing's wrong because I'm standing. Mm. So everybody thought, okay, yeah. You didn't yeah. feel the pain or something? I felt like pain, yeah. but I, I, I was, um, that's why I thought something had happened, but I didn't realize it was a complete tear of the Achilles tendon. tendon and, yeah. and then um, I was in denial, and then Sylvie Guillaume, who's a very, very respected and <coughs> iconic ballet dancer, mm -hmm. she, um, she dragged me to the hospital to a specialist Bless and her. yeah she Bless was, her. she's very tough with me and she <laughs> dragged me to the hospital and said no let's check this let's get this scene and mm -hmm. they saw it and that was it and he showed me an MRI scan and there was a complete gap of about this much about four inches and I, 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 I it suddenly dawned upon me that uh, the it doctor's gonna say a something. It must have been a dark period for you because you were so active you're s all, all the time you're on on you know on your toes and you're like one day you were here, next day you were... Uh, and suddenly I'm in bed for th suddenly, six weeks. Yeah. yeah, it was tough. Yeah? It was tough. And then the physio was a very difficult time. Hmm. That's one thing, dealing with the circumstance. The other thing is dealing with rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. And, of course, ego gets in the way. So when the physio said, um, you know, because I said, I'm not going to have any operation. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to go into my body. And really? The yeah, I, I refused to have an operation. And the doctor said... The specialist said, you either get an operation or you don't walk properly for the rest of your life. So I thought it's a bit early. I felt it was a bit early for me to stop dancing. So um, I said, okay, fine, do the operation. The operation happened. And the physio, who's great, John Green, mm -hmm. he, he deals with a lot of footballers, the England team, yeah. and ballet dancers. And he treated me and, 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 and kind of um, put me back in, got me back into shape. But the first day, I remember, he, he was teaching me how to walk and that was very humiliating oh. because um, I couldn't walk. I didn't have the power to walk. Of course, when y it's like being an astronaut in space. If you're not m using your muscles and you're not mm -hmm. walking for six weeks, all your muscles become like ashes. It you, softens. You're saying humiliating, but I, 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 could, I could almost see you being quite tender. I don't know. Yeah, fragile. Why. Yeah, fragile. Vulnerable. Why yeah. would you want to see me vulnerable? <laughs> No, I don't <laughs> want to see. But it's just the 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 uh, the way I, Im I kind of imagine it. It's like quite, you know. Yeah, it was a somber experience. Yeah, yeah. It, um, and then you know, of course, the gym. I c completely detest gyms. Yeah. Because it's very uh, male testosterone. You know, build muscles. Nobody would believe that, <coughs> being you what you are. No, but you know, for <laughs> me, um, I I don't do it for physical look. Mm -hmm. I don't train for physical look. I, I, I train, w we dance because I, I would like to think for something more spiritual. Mm. So the gym is not that for me. It's no, very no. anti-spiritual. It's very, um, it's just uh, about keeping shape. Some people go genuinely to keep shape and some people generally just want to look good mm. and have big muscles. So of course you have this skinny little guy like me <laughs> who's standing in the middle of the gym and everybody's watching me and all the men are just pulling these... And I just felt uh, it was the wrong place for me. But I knew, I knew that I had to do it. Otherwise, I would never be able to dance again mm -hmm. properly mm -hmm. with the strength. It was really about strengthening. And then I got into swimming. And, uh, I that suddenly, must be fun. Oh, it was wonderful. Because yeah. I hadn't done it since I was a child. Mm. And so I loved, I loved um, being close to water. My mother was always very close to water, you know, in the gram. Mm -hmm. um, Pukure yeah. Shatar. Kata. Yes, she always swam. I still mm. don't understand how people can swim in saris. Not that I wear a sari and I try it out, <laughs> but I find it very, very, I can't imagine someone mm -hmm. swimming in a sari. So it was, uh, I, I remember my mom always talking very closely, uh, her relationship with water. Mm. Being, and of course, Bangladesh, the relationship with water is, water is very, very important. Very intense. Yeah. Um, we're talking about um, Olympics, actually. So, so, yeah, I know you don't want to talk about it much, but... Oh, I do. <laughs> I'm just not allowed to. <laughs> Um, so we don't 
we can't uh, you can't say that what you are doing actually or no, no not no. what it's about because it gives it away yes um, what can I say um, I'm dancing in it yeah. I'm choreographing yes a group of dancers yes and 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 that's about it but it's a very beautiful moment I hope 